the top of the mountains, where the law of the Lord shall come forth. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 1. Bible tells us, the writer of Hebrews says that there's a certain rest that we shall enter into. While the promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. And verse 3, the first part says, For we which have believed do enter into rest. Amen? The life of faith is a life of rest. Amen? And I believe that as we are hearing the word about faith, we are entering into our rests. Jesus said, come out tomorrow, you that labor and are heavy laden. So when you are in rest, you don't labor and heavy laden with too many things. And today, Jesus says, mix the word with faith when you are receiving it. What does it mean to mix it with faith? It means to obey. And if you are ready to receive the word of God and to mix it with faith, then stand to your feet, clap your hands Nothing as you welcome our pastor, our shepherd, our faith teacher, Bishop Eddie Ali. It's impossible trusting in his word. Hearken to the voice of God to me. Is there anything to have for you? Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, thanks a million for the wonderful privilege we have to be here in your presence, experiencing your power, your love, your grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. I want to do uh, two things. One is to just um, encourage you to support this wonderful effort at sending the gospel. Isaiah 2, 2 says, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And shall be exalted above the hills. And all nations shall flow into it. How else can nations flow into the church that is established on the top of the mountains? Unless somebody goes with the gospel to the nations. Is that not so? And as you sit in Accra, as you sit in your church, most of us don't have any, it's like you, you, the name Bobo Dulasso, it's like it's not something that you will ever hear of. It's like if you look through, the, you read books, you read story books, you, you do geography, you do history, you, I don't think you will ever hear the name Bobo Dulasso or Waiguya. Eh? But we have a member from Burkina Faso. But I don't think Burkina, when you think of Burkina, you think of uh, Wagadugu. Is that not so? How many will confess that it's only Wagadugu that you know or you have heard of? Yes. Just like how some people have never heard Techiman or Konongu Udumase, Bibieni. I mean, if you live in Nigeria, what will make you hear of some, a place like Bibieni? Or, um, eh? Atobriso. Hey, even we in Ghana, Atobriso, we have never heard. But if you care to join the flow prayers, 
sometimes you have a window into some of these towns and cities and villages where we have carried the gospel and churches are being built there. Somebody is even wondering why are we clapping? Because it's like to you, it's like oh, what's going on? But something is going on. And as Christians, that is why we are preaching on faith. Faith, we need faith to believe in salvation because it is faith that gives us salvation. And the Bible says, how can they be saved? Huh? How can they call on him of whom they have not heard? How can they hear without a preacher? Do you get it? So, we thank God for this effort. In fact, when we watch some of these documentaries, then we see that our vision should not just be inward. Not your own salvation is one. Then the salvation that is only for your town and your city, your country. That should not be how you see things. You know, and faith is what helps you to even believe that somebody in Waiguya deserves salvation. It's like, I mean, look at their places. When you are going for holidays, will you go to Bobo de Lasso? Yes. And um, I think that the Healing Jesus campaign is powerfully showing us the way that Jesus came to die for the re most remotest soul or the soul in the most remotest of villages and towns and it takes somebody who really has faith in God do you understand most of us have not read that faith level that's why even when we have to preach to the nearest neighbor near you it's not it's not as that when you look at some of their faces it's like what is who is this guy i mean if this guy, if he doesn't go to heaven, it won't change anything. Do you understand? If he dies and does not make it to heaven, I mean, what is the problem? Even if he doesn't join our church, crowd, we don't want him because this or bar, he will be standing by people's cars to ask for money. We don't need such faces. But you see, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. And that whosoever is not just you or the one who is educated or the one who looks posh. Do you understand? Yeah. Or the one who looks posh. Yeah. Or the one who looks yeah. besh. <laughs> posh, posh, besh. Or this type of things that, you know, it's like the person looks some way very nice looking and so on. You know. By the way, let me remind you. When we went to, uh, Bobo, when we saw the Bobo de Lasso people, we were told that they were not prepared for what they experienced. Because the cold that was there was something that they didn't prepare. People actually wearing winter jackets. Something you can't wear here. If you wear it here, an ambulance will come for you. Can easily collapse on the way. And I want to also tell you that soon... You have to wear something thicker. Uh -huh. So those of you who have packed your suits, get ready. Uh -huh. And those who don't have anything that can keep you warm, make sure that you have something. Well, the air condition, I'm going to chill it. Because when I'm in an environment that is air conditioned and it's not chilled, I still sweat. So I don't want to sweat. I will let them chill their place. Chilled. Bobo du lasso level. Yes. I was looking at the screen. I said, oh, soon people will be wearing winter jackets in the church. Preparing for England snow and winter seasons. Because you have to uh, get used to such weather, you know. So today, um, as we, um, I don't know whether I celebrate or, I don't know what are we doing, Healing Jesus service. Or mark, mark the Healing Jesus campaigns with this service, the special service for Healing Jesus campaign. That's why we showed you a documentary so that you get, uh, you get a little window into it. So that you too can rise up 
and support this great effort. Believe in it. You see, let your faith rise. Faith is not just so that you can buy a car, so that you can build a house. The same steps that gives you house and car is the same steps that gives you salvation. Bible says, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Jesus said, if you can say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe that those things that you say will come to pass, you shall have whatsoever you say. And when you stand praying, so speaking and praying, when you, whatsoever things you desire, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them. King James says you receive them and you shall have them. The NASB says believe that you have received them. You have received. When you pray, believe that you have received them and you shall have all and they will be granted unto you. So your prayers and things being granted to you are linked very directly to what you believe in your heart as you pray. Things change and things happen powerfully in your life as you believe in what you say to them. Even people, sometimes when I'm playing golf, I speak over my shot. Yes. Father, let this ball go straight. Then I speak to the one who's going that, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. And I realized that it wasn't only me. Even the professionals in the, in the US and other players, when they are playing competition, they will tell the ball, bite, bite. They are, they are talking to them, but sometimes that's you obey them because it's not just speaking. You have to believe in your heart and things happen. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? So just before I preach my little sermon for today, because I'm going to preach just for a few minutes, so I want to encourage you, okay, as we watched the documentary, that you must be a partner of healing Jesus campaign okay and you can be a partner we call them ben mp ben mp is that evangelism mm, is beautiful bible says how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the good news of salvation how beautiful okay it's also exciting because heaven rejoices angels clap their hands angels scream and shout like you know when there's a goal or something hey, you know the bible says when one soul sinner repents there is great joy there's excitement in heaven only that our faith hasn't reached there so when you see somebody coming to give his life to christ it doesn't stir up emotion in you it's nice also it's nice a nice thing to 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 preach the gospel and to see people say it's mood changing when the prodigal son uh, came home. His father's mood changed and he threw a party. Okay? So the B, E, N, M are describing the beautiful job of soul winning and evangelism. The beautiful job of salvation is beautiful. It's exciting. You see, even for us, who are really deep in this saving souls and establishing people is an exciting adventure. Sometimes when I see and hear the testimonies of people and the impact of the church on people, it's, it's, it's exciting. It's, 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 it's exhilarating. It's, it's, it's enchanting. It, 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 I don't know. I want some bigger words. Eh? Mommy be Della, you have come. Give me something. Give me one word. Exciting. Eh? Or oh, you don't get the message. Doctor, give me one word. Medically associated. That brings joy. Do you understand? Exhilarating. Oh. 
It's good to see you. All the way from Kenya. Yes. Beautiful. Pastor Mark Charles. Beautiful. All the way from Mwanza. Our pastor was here and was sent by faith that there is a town called Mwanza in Tanzania. Stand up and show them your face. Turn your body. Yes. Turn yourself well. They, they, they can't see you. Yes. He's there. Built. A, he started a church. Beautiful. Very nice. He was walking here, serving here, being with me, working with me, and then we sent him all the way to Tanzania to establish a church. And he has a congregation. His wife was the pastor in charge of the dancing stars for the second service dancing stars. Built a big group of dancers. And then she also used to make food for us after church. I miss her Kelly Willie. Tell her that I'm surprised she didn't send me Kelly Willie from Mwanza. <laughs> you get it. And he's there. Only faith makes us do the best. A young man, are you, are you, uh, what, did you go to school? Yes. Huh? yes, I went to University of, uh, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Tech. People say tech, 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 tech. <laughs> yes. And a young man, did you work somewhere before? No, never. Uh, after university, and I came straight to Bible. Uh, no, I went to help in the office at the Kodesh. Then from there to the Bible school, then I had the opportunity to be here. Yes. It's a seed. It's a seed. Why? Because the nations, all nations shall flow into it. it it's not a recitation, no. We, we believe it literally. It, and it's not that we believe it literally because we, do, we don't have anything to believe. We believe it because it is the truth and it is the reality. And many times when people are dying, that is when um, they, they recognize the, the salvation and God and things in their life. Even the relatives, you see that they highlight more of what the person did in church. Oh, he was in your church. Oh, he, he used to do this. He used to do this. Yeah, as if we don't know. And some of them, they don't do anything. And they are trying to force them to do something. In their death. I always remember a man whose uh, biography was being read at a funeral. His brother was reading it. One day I'll bring it to you. I have it. I, 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 I've, I've, I always remember it so much that I went to ask the family recently, last year, to give me a copy. He died maybe 15 years ago. Yes. And I went to get a copy of the funeral brochure so that I can, I can look at And when I saw them, hey, about six or seven pages of, yes, it's a CV. He went here, he did this, and they listed his things, publications, things that he had published. And hey, the brother was reading. <laughs> when he got to a place, he said, oh, these are not necessary. <laughs> then he wiped, he swiped, he turned the page, turned the page, turned the page, and got to the last one and read the last few paragraphs. It's like his own brother found his works useless to read out to people as he has died. <laughs> but somebody found it relevant to put it in the brush, and the man was reading that it's not necessary. I don't know the fight they had after. Because <laughs> somebody may have found it necessary, and you didn't find it necessary. And it, it is true. One day, you will see that, how can a young man, university graduate, you won't work anywhere, and then you go. But you can go to, uh, you can be taken by Lever Brothers, and they don't, you don't live in your country, you, you throw you somewhere, cry. Yes, Nestle and others, they will send you somewhere. That's why nobody cares about it. Nobody will say, oh, you are really blessed. Why? Because there's money in it. So money, that's why it says you can't serve God and mammon, which is money. You can't serve God and money. So when you start serving money, your heart shifts very fast from God. And when you serve God, as though you don't get money, but when you serve God, you, you, you also, he adds it to it. So people say that you, it's because of money that you are doing the thing. It's because of money. You see now your confusion. 
Or me, in my heart. If you break my heart like that and open it, you won't find money in it. Since, since, it was, it was, it died in me. It was that death that made me enter full-time ministry. That even if I don't build a house or travel ever or buy a car, eh, I want to serve God with my life. Without any hope of going abroad, travel anywhere, get money, build the house, nothing. So I'm ready. I got to that point. And when I, I had that thing connected in my heart, I dislodged from my company, VRA, which is one of the top companies to work for in Ghana. Most of my colleagues were always looking for it. They would take you abroad sometimes two years, depending on how they want to lift you up. Two years uh, in Canada, because we had a, a kind of exchange something with Ontario Hydro, like the same VRA in Canada. They go and come. Those who have gone and come, they come with cars, fresh ones. They buy houses. It's like we go and work for two. Sometimes they send them to school to train them and, and, and prepare them to become maybe directors and so on. And I was one of the bright stars. From the moment I entered, my supervisor said, the dad is very good. He can do everything. Yes. When they interviewed me after my national service, he didn't allow me to answer any question. As soon as they asked me a question, then he would say, oh, he knows everything. He can do everything. I don't know where we are. Are we on radio and TV and those things? Okay, no problem. You are all part. You are listening and watching. We are all part of the Healing Jesus service today. And I want to encourage you. Do you see? Maybe you haven't given your life. Some of us will have to give our lives. Yet there are some of us who would have to lay down our lives. Yet we all shall live again. Some of us have to lay down our lives for the gospel, for the ministry. And enter into full-time ministry. And forget about the money that the world lures you with. And give your heart to God and say, Lord, use me. If it's to Bobo Di Lasso, I will go. But no, if UN picks you and UN sends you to Bobo Di Lasso, you will go. Why won't you go? Because there's money there. <laughs> oh, but may our faith rise in God so that we can believe that a, a day and a week or a year or two years or serving God in Bobo Di Lasso for God is far more rewarding than even working for the UN and getting dollars. People will risk their lives for UN. Because you have heard UN staff have been abducted. They kidnap them. They kill them. They ask for money, this and that and that. But still, people want to work for the UN. But for the church and for God... Our faith is reducing and reducing and reducing and reducing. So when you hear that somebody is going to full time, you say, hey, have you prayed about it? Are you sure? Do you think that, hey, so how are you going to live? Ah, but why don't you ask such questions when you are working for the UN? Because you trust in UN. You have faith in the UN more than you have in God. That's why I'm preaching about faith. Jesus said, have faith in God. In God, when you say this, mountains should move that mountain can move if you have faith in god yeah. that same faith can make you pray and whatever you are praying about you can have it that same faith in god can make you have salvation and go to heaven and it is that same faith that we are riding on to send the gospel to the ends of the earth 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 Lift your hand and say, I'm going to join. Are you serious about that? Yes. I am going to join. I'll be part of it. Hallelujah. And this Healing Jesus campaign has gone to so many countries. And yet when they count the number of countries, it's amazing that it's not much. Because it's like a human being's effort. How far can it reach? Do you get it? And so all of us are being encouraged. Even if you can't go, your money can go. And you could see the, 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 you see the, you saw the convoy, the buses. Even now the buses don't go. And then you see the trucks with different equipment and with personnel. 
people who have decided, some are volunteers. There are some people who join the crusade when it's going. They are not full-time, but they take time off work to go and be volunteers, to help, to serve, to do things, to hand out tracts, to do follow-up, to, you know, just to help organize on the ground hands. Are you listening to me? And I'm expecting some of you to have that heart and have that mind and also join. Some of you are supporters of Kotoko. When they travel, you go. I have one of my ashes here. He used to travel with House of Folk everywhere. When he goes to church, he will leave church very early and run away from church and go and join the this day and go to Kumas if they are playing, go to Cape Coast if they are playing Hazakes, a second D if they are playing Hazakes. He will go to uh, Tamale if they are playing RTU. Eh? He will go to uh, Kofrodia. Is there a team in Kofrodia? The Wu Stars. The Wu Youngsters. So let us also add our hearts to this glorious mission unreservedly. Let us add our money to this glorious mission unreservedly. I want some people to say, if they are, and we have had people, maybe not in this church, okay, who have said, I want to support the Healing Jesus campaign. How much is their fuel this, uh, this campaign? Then they will give the amount of the fuel, maybe a certain amount. Then they will, they will actually pay for it. And it demonstrates your faith in God that I believe in this God and I believe in the gospel and I believe in salvation and I, am, I support any effort to reach even one soul so that it's something beautiful, something exciting, something nice and something that changes God's mood. When the prodigal son came, the father threw a party and they danced and then they were, they were eating and they were very happy. It, the father became very happy immediately because his mood was changed by the arrival of his lost son. That is what happens to God when a sinner repents. There is joy in heaven. God himself stands. There, there's a song that says that um, he, uh, um, his favorite song of all is, uh, is the song of the redeemed. Yes. He likes to hear the rain fall and other things come. He likes to see, to hear us when we sing and so on. But his favorite song is when one sinner set free, washed and bought by Calvary, begins to sing. That is his favorite song of all. Beautiful. We want to add to the mood of God and make him happy. So the P is the partner. So Ben MP is a Ben M partner, like somebody who is interested in bringing, making the gospel, beautiful gospel, go to the nations. And then he brings excitement, both in the church and then in heaven, and then changes the mood of God. And the mood of believers also is where, you see, Christianity without adding yourself to these type of things, it's not so exciting. No. You can easily backslide from just inactivity and not doing so much. All right. So I think we have some envelopes uh, or, or, or some sheets. Um, if you're already a Ben MP partner uh, or Ben M partner, what should they do? So are these envelopes or they are? Are these envelopes? Okay, very good, very good. Now, if you are watching on Facebook, um, we have the Ben MP number, the Ben MP number on the screen: zero two four eight five. 80054. If you are listening to me on Sweet Melodies or Dofopa FM, please, the number is 0248 So 0248 All right? So please um, send your contribution. I'm holding an envelope in my hand. If you are not uh, here in person, you can connect by the, the Momo number that is shown. Wherever you are in the world watching, please, you can join this effort. The effort so that the, the, the mountain of the Lord's house is the church. It will be established on the top of the mountain. And many shall go and say, let us go to the house of the Lord. So this is the house of the Lord. 
And then this house of the Lord exists to support and to send. The Bible says, how can they preach except they be sent? And when we are sending, they, they have to be sent with money. They, they have to eat on the way. They have to have a place to stay on the way. They have to have fuel. From here to Burkina is at least 1,000 kilometers. I've driven to Burkina before. Yes. To Ouagadougou only. And before you go to uh, Bobo de Lasso, and then after that, you go to Waiguya. Waiguya. Have you heard of Waiguya before? Even then, how to say it is not easy at all. Why, 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 why. So please, um, how many have an envelope like this with you? The envelope has your name, your telephone number, and then the month you are contributing. Okay? Or how much, is it how much you contribute per, per month? I see a month. It means this month that you are contributing. Okay. But if you want to be a partner, what should you do? What should you do? Is there a form to fill? Okay. So if you want to be a partner, it's not any complex procedure. You can be a partner by... Partners are people who contribute monthly. If you're a partner, you contribute monthly. Is that not so? Some of you are partners of Gunsa and Rotary Club and other... You, you know how it is. You have some monthly something. Or even you have life insurance, isn't it? You put something every month into it. Uh-huh. So now you need to just commit yourself and say, I want to be a Ben M partner. I want to be a Ben M partner. I want to be a Healing Jesus campaign partner. All right? So take one of these envelopes. Write your name behind it. That actually confirms your membership. And then... Um, you indicate your phone number so that we can at least have your phone number with you. So this is actually a form. The envelope is also a form. So if you don't have one, you want to be a partner, please lift your hand, let them give it to you. If you are watching on Facebook, you are on Dofopa FM or Sweet Melodies right now, you can also just take your phone, okay, and just send um, money to this 0248580054 and indicate you can indicate on your, if you are sending by express pay, they have something like a a regular deduction that they can deduct every month. You can also select something like that so that every month it comes to their account. And once your contribution goes, um, we we will take it that you have become a partner. For those of you on Sweet Melodies and Dofopa FM, you want to be a partner, please uh, send your number, your name, of course, your number will be there already when you send it. And, and, and then uh, you can indicate, you can be a partner with as little as how much? 20 Ghana cities, 10 Ghana cities. Can you imagine? I mean, something as simple. And you'll be surprised what your 10 Ghana cities, your 20 Ghana cities, your 50 Ghana. And if you, you want to even give one time donation of maybe 10,000 or 5,000 to the crusades. It's not for buildings. I know some of us have given for buildings and soon you will see your names on buildings because their buildings are also coming up. And so many people have also given and have also been waiting in line for their names to be written. So fine, you have given. God bless you. So, But relax a bit, okay, because we are building. It's not like a shirt. It's like you give the money, you know, where is my, the shirt? You can't see it like that. You, you, you have, it takes time. Sometimes buying the land and negotiating, negotiating. I mean, so many things go, it's not as simple as the money you have given is a blessing, but if the money doesn't even include the land, and the land has to be bought. Osa, please lift your head, okay? The, the land has to be bought, and the land takes so much you know, it's like a lot of hassle and a lot of things. You know how to buy land. It's the same everywhere. And some places you buy, not another member of family will come. Say, hey, it's our land. And sometimes the families, I, am, I don't know, but I'm sure they agree that, look, you go and sell it. We'll come and face the people. Then they also have to pay it again. Then, uh-huh. they, Because people have been using that strategy. I can't imagine that. Ah, it's a whole family. You say the family have come together. Then a section have come. You've dealt with them. Then another section rises up and say, it's our land. Then you have to pay again. So sometimes we pay twice, thrice for lands so that we can put the structures on them. 
So that's why some of it has taken quite some time. So for those of you who have given for churches to be built, um, that is why some of you have not seen your names yet. But soon, you will see your name on a building that you have built. And you will hear people singing and praising God in the church that you have built. And God will always remember you when they lift up their hands to pray. God bless all of you who have given. So you can give for the church, okay? But now we are giving for the effort to go. Because the church, you can imagine that we are staying here. We don't know Bobo de Lasso. We don't know uh, 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 um, even Togo. They have uh, they, uh, Benin and things. Uh, they, they have different, different towns. We, we, when the crusade goes to a place, it doesn't only go to the capital. Often it goes to more other towns within the same country. And God is really blessing the crusades. And I want you to be part of it and do it. So if you take an envelope, you write your name. Um, you can indicate whether you want every month to contribute an amount. You can indicate it. Or you can just give a good one-time mumu amount and that is it. It's okay. Kra, we will like it that way. Is it a good plan? Oh, you mind me. How many want to, how many have got envelopes already? Oh. Envelopes. You took envelopes last week. You also can take an envelope today. Please, if you need an envelope today, please lift up your hand and let them uh, give you one, please. And then write your name, write your phone number, and then you are on. If you want to be part of this effort on Facebook, YouTube, and so on, please, you're on Sweet Melodies, you're on Dofopa FM, please write, send the money, your contribution. If you want it monthly, you can do so. But every month you send to 0248-580054. And you can give support with 100 Ghana cities every month. For some of us, 100 Ghana cities, is, it, you will not even feel it. Do you, do you understand? So I'm not asking you to make big sacrifices where every month is like, yeah, Ben MP has come again. Yeah, we are there though. No. Something you can afford and something you can do regularly is better than coming to say, I want to give 1,000 every month. Then the 1,000, no, you give it this month. The next month is like, I can't give it. The next month, it becomes a problem. Then when somebody sends you a text that, please, we are waiting for your contribution, it's almost as if you want to insult the person. It's like, why? Have I said I won't pay? All right. Father, lift your envelope. Let me pray. Father, bless everyone giving a contribution today and making an effort to support evangelism through the Healing Jesus campaign. I pray for them that you will make a way for them. I pray for them that you will bless them. I pray for them that you will encourage their hearts and, and, and protect them and deliver them in all their ways. We bless you because you have chosen us to do this work in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Fantastic. Clap your hands unto the Lord. If you want to give 1,000, 2,000, you can do that through the mumu. You can do that, uh, put it in this envelope so that it comes directly. You can give 50 Ghana. You can give 200 Ghana. Today, today they give something special. Today is a special service. So do something special. Is it a good idea? So I've used my preaching time, a lot of my preaching time, to talk to you about this. So I need you to, re I want you to see how important it is in, in the life of our church. The, the mountain of the Lord's house, which is this one, it doesn't only exist for us to teach you. And when we teach you of his ways, one of his ways is going into all the world. That is why we are spending, is that Magdalene? Yes, please. Have you taken a, an envelope for the Healing Jesus campaign? Beautiful. In your minstrel. Now I can spot you in the church nicely. Clap for Jesus. And now I have a few minutes to just um, share something small. So I will begin. And as you can see, I cannot finish. So if I preach for only 10 minutes, try, pray for me that I can preach for 10 minutes. And then that will be it. Next, 
we'll continue on Tuesday. Tuesday we are preaching on faith as well. And um, it's just a season after that. I pray that you will be a different person altogether. Say amen. Stand up, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come to receive a few nuggets from your word, I pray that you will open our eyes to behold wondrous things out of your law. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. You may be seated. How to improve your faith. Preaching can also be summarized, so I'm going to do my best. How to improve your faith. In John 14, 12, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go to my Father. Believe in me, you will do greater works. Now, if you are doing greater works, what does it make you? It makes you what? It makes you great. If you are doing greater works, Jesus did great works. He did work. Then he says, if you believe in me, the work that I do, shall you do also. Because I go to the Father. So, and greater work than this. I mean, if you are doing greater work than Jesus, hey, this great Jesus, and you are doing greater work than Jesus, then you must be a great person. And it is all connected to believing believing apostle peter you are also welcome all the way from also in kenya apostle peter has been sitting here every sunday and also the same commission sent him to now where are you now he left here and went to enugu in nigeria this was last year last year from may to september and then from october he moved to Machakos. You see, Machakos is in Kenya. Have you heard of Machakos? If you do geography, do you, will you hear Machakos? But when you do gospel, you will hear Machakos. Beautiful. So, Jesus told the man whose son was suffering from epilepsy, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. So if thou canst believe, eh? Jesus said, he that believeth in me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these. Huh? So if you can believe, you will do greater works. If thou canst believe, if thou canst believe, if thou canst believe, in my little book here, I'm preaching from name it, claim it, and take it. And I'm also preaching from faith secrets. These two books are like my manuals and my, my daily quiet time books. It's like they are very, very powerful. When you read this book, you would notice Jesus um, often commending people for their faith. And when he commends them for their faith, Sometimes you say, great is your faith. I've never seen such great faith. No, not in Israel. Sometimes he will chide the people. And he will say, how little is your faith? Do you see? So there, there are many, many, um, we call them levels. Levels of faith. All right? In Matthew 14, 31, he chided the people, Oh, thou of little faith. Matthew 8, 5 onwards, he says, I have not found so great faith. <laughs> Romans 4, 17 says, He be not weak in faith. So you can see that faith can be weak, faith can be little, faith can also be great faith. So there are different levels of faith. So, if you are going to believe in Jesus and do great works, you have to learn to develop your faith, which is sometimes maybe at a little level. 
or devil level. Do you know devil level faith? Devil level faith is what James says that you believe you have done well, but the devil also believes and trembles. And he was, not, he was trying to say that your believing must be backed with action. Because yeah. you can say you believe, but you only believe it just because it's like, yeah, it's a good idea, of course. The devil also, you believe that there is God. The devil also believes and trembles. So if you believe that there is God, eh, and you just settle in only, oh, media, 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 oh, I believe there is God. Oh, there is God. Oh, there is God. That you are at the same level as the devil. And that devil level faith doesn't go far. A lot of Christians have settled in. They believe in God. They believe that God exists. You don't disbelieve it. And you even quote that. The, only the fool says in his heart that there is no God. Yes. God, even the devil believes that there is God. And trembles at that belief. So if you say you believe in God, it's not enough. You have to rise above just I believe that God exists. Because you believe God exists, that's why you are in church. But now you have to shift from that devil level faith and move to a higher faith and move to a more, even more higher faith. Yes. Paul told the church, if you read on, I mean, there are so many of them, I cannot even go into that. He says, Paul wrote, he says um, to Timothy, he says, holding faith and a good conscience, First Timothy 1 Timothy 1.19, he said, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck. So even people's faith can be shipwreck faith. <laughs> James 1.6, but let him ask in faith nothing wavering, wavering faith. Some people have faith that is wavering, it's, it's oscillating. So I'm teaching you how to improve how to 